Welcome to the Chill Zone. My name is Danny Constant, and I'm live right here with, uh, I mean, a, a gentleman. I get to call him someone that we we grew up watching. I mean, someone we we, we grew up listening to. Someone we act, we actually admired. Someone whose work we've read, and uh, we've been able to learn so much from, especially in terms of uh, being inspirational. Because I feel there's so many things like I keep saying all the time that we go through, but we need like. A shower daily we need a level of or an amount of motivation on a daily that keeps us going and keeps us positive and this gentleman has been keeping the faith he has been keeping hope alive like they tell us to keep doing since back in school i give you right here on the chill zone mr momodu sabali yes Yes. Welcome yeah. to the chill zone, sir. How are you doing? I'm very well. I think well. that's one question I very, need to. That, that's one question well. I need to ask you. Yeah. How are you doing? Because I feel people don't really ask answer that question, frankly speaking. I am doing very well. Okay. Excited, motivated, inspired, good, well grounded. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I I like that. I like that. You you are one gentleman that is into um, a lot social entrepreneurism um you know mentoring into business and uh, i mean you're into politics you're basically into so many aspects you know of of uh, of of, of, the, of our daily life as gambians i'm going to start asking you but i'm definitely going to start by asking this question what do you think we are good at we what, what are we good at as gambians hmm I've heard so many interviews. Nobody mm. ever asked me this question. Um, I, I don't think there is a, a particular thing that I would say we are good at in mm. terms of trade and craft. Okay. But I think we are the smiling course, and that we are. We are very good <laughs> at being friendly. We are very good okay. at uh, keeping the peace, no okay. matter how rough the the waves of time hit this little tiny oasis uh, hmm. uh, the Gambia. We're very good at that. And, and, and I've, I've dealt with a lot of people, uh, high to low, who mm -hmm. come into this country. And I think some of these things we take for granted that we are a very nice, friendly, accommodating, lovely people. Mm -hmm. But they, it, it's like so charming. Mm -hmm. They spot it out right away. I mean, good, decent people that we are. We have artists, mm -hmm. we have musicians, mm -hmm. we have footballers. You've not done quite too well in any of these. See things. now, since now, now speaking, <laughs> speaking of speaking of this particular sectors that you mentioned. Yeah. Now, which of these do you think we are good at? Because I feel like you, you like you, we're not really we're not here here. Or, uh, but yeah. what are we as Gambians good uh, at? Let me tell you. Even if it's uh, bad though, but I want you, I want you to mention. Even if it's, even if it's, <laughs> today, today's, today's Wow, just tell us what do you think we are good at. No, I, I think basically I've, I've told you mm -hmm. what I think we're good at. Okay. Being nice and lovely, welcome, mm -hmm. friendly, mm -hmm. peaceful. And this that's not something to me now. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, everything we're being good out of the football, music, business, mm -hmm. we're just trying to be peaceful and happy. So basically we're just and peaceful I and happy. I know the ultimate goal, I don't care what anybody thinks, does or says, we are a godly, God-loving people, a very religious people, Muslims mm -hmm. and Christians. Mm -hmm. And our ultimate goal is paradise. In Islam, we <laughs> call it Darus Salaam. Okay. Yeah, it's a pursuit of peace and happiness. Mm -hmm. We have it, I am telling you. We have our challenges, mm -hmm. and those challenges are actually part of that process. Okay. But getting back to your younger more vibrant uh, world view of mm -hmm. providing uh, producing uh, Lionel Messi mm -hmm. or <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Lionel. we've not done that okay. really I mean uh, kudos to the super eagles I understand during that time they held okay. the fort so we are good at music I can say that mm -hmm. whether we are fully manifesting that right now or mm -hmm. not doesn't mm -hmm. matter to me because okay. I'm a motivational speaker and author. Mm -hmm. I'm interested, I'm invested in human potential. Mm -hmm. We are in the process of re-manifesting those potentials. So just like Super Eagles conquered the world at some point, mm -hmm. mark my words. I don't we will get there. Words. Okay. I didn't say that. That's why I tell Mark you because you were going to think that's what I'll say. Okay. I didn't say we'll get there. Mm -hmm. We have the potential to get there. Nothing is guaranteed. As okay. the Moors would say, it's Jeff Jill. 
Wow. We have to earn it. Mm -hmm. If we call, continue this mbojo bojo stuff, we're all trying to be a local champion in Tabokoto. <laughs> when your colleagues in Lagos, we yeah. is conquering the world, we'll mm -hmm. remain like uh, mediocre. Mm -hmm. Boy, true, true, you true. know music better than me. True. Whiskey band talent la ambu SD amut or G or our little boy in break. Yeah. Now or, would you say visibility is our issue as well? Part of it. Okay. I think we have serious character issues with the young ones. Easily satisfied. Mm -hmm. Too comfortable to be a local champion in Latrikunda Sabiji. Mm -hmm. That will. I know. Wow. When somebody from Sururele, Nigeria, or Maza Maza is mm -hmm. conquering the world, they are not smarter than us. I said it. Tell your people when you go back there. Mm -hmm. In for my Ustas once said, Gambians are the smartest people because our river, the water is very nice. And True. those who eat mono porridge in the morning. <laughs> But he advised against eating Malabu Tangas is who are <laughs> Very smart, intelligent people. But yes. you know, we, we need to I know people misuse and abuse mm -hmm. the word aspire, aspire, how much I aspire I aspire to, well, I aspire to inspire, inspire. To aspire, such a cliche, I <laughs> hate it. But we need to aspire higher. Yes. I know I tell these uh, young mm -hmm. people when mm -hmm. I go to their this motivational platforms. I mean, look, Gambia is two million people, boy. Our colleagues in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. They are running multi-billion dollar companies. Swim more on me. True. The audience is like a hundred million. But what they have is a brain mass. Is your brain smaller than that of Bill Gates? Of course not. Come on. Enough said. True. Ask me another question. Ah. <laughs> 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 I like that. Right here as well. Um you 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 went you you at, at some point, I think it was two thousand and two thousand and 11 12 all the way down to 14 uh, you you pretty much were you you, you had you, you you know we knew you mostly as an author you know yes. there, was, there was a series yes. you had a series of, of yes. books you released uh but how how far have those books gone how far have they taken you really uh yes uh, i actually published my first book in the year 2005 mm -hmm. Prior to that, I was involved in mentoring uh, one or two young people who mm -hmm. actually published before me in the genre of poetry. I did Jangi Jolof, I was uh, the Gambia's uh, first ever semi-autobiographical piece of work done. It came before Kaira Baba, Sayadawda and others. You mm -hmm. know, I'm very proud of that achievement. Mm -hmm. MashaAllah, la quwwata illa billah. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can't even claim your achievements in this yeah. little, I, little town. That's, the, know, that's one thing. You can't really say but I've done this. from um, the pen. They can't mm -hmm. cage me. Ma bina, the first piece of autobiographical work in the history of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to sell books in the Gambia. Sure. To really push them. Uh, we don't have a strong uh, literary culture. Mm -hmm. Then in 2006, I did another book, Instant Success, Then Keys to Personal Achievement. Then mm -hmm. I was actually studying in America. When I came back, uh, I, I really learned a bitter lesson at uh, the publication of Jang Ejol, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I remember a friend of mine who's now in Canada, is doing some big stuff there. You don't mean, you know, you don't have to book or organize launching some boy in your agenda. Boy, you don't have to force a guy in your agenda. I thought he was joking. They yes. came, they were, boy, but I now smoke copy. I can't say why, boy. They wanted free copies. So the book didn't sell well. And this was a book that was launched by the vice president back let's, then. Let's, 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 put a, let's, put a pin to, let's put a pin to that. <laughs> this is one issue that we've had in Gambia. Yeah. When everyone gets to complain about the fact that, yes, mm -hmm. So, you know, people around you that are meant to be supporting your business yeah. do not do so. Especially the fact that we have, a, I mean, the extended families in Gambia are quite large. Mm -hmm. You have your business, you, I mean, you, you're expected to be making money off it. Mm -hmm. And that does not happen because, you know, Sajaba Haritambi, you know, Saraka. Uh, so how 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 do we change that culture yeah so uh, uh okay i was just on that narrative mm -hmm. i learned a lesson yes when i did instant success i mean i, I push a little bit more in terms of uh, marketing hire somebody mm -hmm. who would practically come to your office and, and i think i made about a million dollars is mm. instant success also roughly yeah roughly so mm. and it's still selling by the way okay. just last week timbutu to called me and gave me a check you know mm. for my books hey, mashallah, nice. mashallah, I got mashallah, and mashallah. some attire and you nah. know, like, <laughs> 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 you see, Hale, Zemala, you know that's good that's good that's good. Yeah. that's good yeah so I, I learned that then then after that i became more business oriented with okay. it and uh, i know this institution africa was very supportive mm. of course mm -hmm. uh i did uh, a double book launch this was 20 before 2012, around True. 2011, yeah. I did a... Approximately uh, around that time. Yeah, The yes. Way to Happiness and yes. uh, Love Notes. Mm -hmm. 
you know so uh i started pushing i became more ambitious i did another bu- double book launch and my mm-hmm. publisher said boy why don't you think i'm going to get one boy i'm going to be a they get a hard and basic kind of man on the next year i'll do a triple book launch and i was ready for it so i did this uh a uh, 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 fictional one conversations with maki sal mm-hmm. And you know my ambition is okay like Gambia do and I, I wanted to go to Senegal to go and launch that book man mm-hmm. just to show that you know you know when you penetrate them zone we mm-hmm. you know and then as fate with had it I was appointed uh, you know minister of presidential affairs sure. secretary general mm-hmm. head of the civil service and mm-hmm. the list goes on you know yes. it goes on it's, it still goes on by the <laughs> it still, it still like, goes on you know so when that yes. happened I mm-hmm. mean That's about the, the most difficult job anybody can do in the whole world. I'm telling you, be yeah, yeah, my secretary general is no was joke. was tough. So I practically uh, didn't have any time to write again. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, after I was fired there, of course, going in and out of jail. Mm-hmm. You know, the fight, the perpetual fight with you know who. Sure. Uh, what I did was I moved the business of writing to another level, because uh, the whole creation of the Sabah Leadership Academy mm-hmm. was about back to the point. It's difficult to sell music, but it's thousand times easier than selling literature books in true, the Gambia. True, true. So I know my, my wife really believes in my work, and and she kept on telling me, you know, this book instant success. Look, this is this is really what the young people of this country need right now. And what you got to do is you can't just let it be. You have to ram it down their throat. She said it that way. Ram it down their throat. I say, wow, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. So we built Saba Leadership Academy actually on on the foundation of these books, especially instant success, ten mm-hmm. keys to personal. So we did a ten part. Series lectures for young people on how to inspire, motivate, you know, bring out your best self, you know. So that really worked. So when I got into that uh, speech mode, mm-hmm. I actually slowed down on the writing part. Even though right now I have about three, four manuscripts that have completed in between, okay, uh, set for publication. But mm-hmm. um, good thing is, I've seen those books take a life of their own in the lives of young people in the Gambia and abroad. Just last week, I was taking my. I I, I do a lot of walking. Actually, mm-hmm. I was yes, walking in the you, evening. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And the guy just stopped me from the restaurant. You know, Mr. Sabali, how are you? Man, I read your book, man. The way to happiness. That that just transformed my life. And there are thousands of incidents like that. I was in my <laughs> my son's school yesterday. Rosa too. One of the best, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, without a doubt. So <laughs> okay, it was Matthew's okay. birthday, and I come in, and all these kids they come and greet me. It's like, Mrs. Sabali, mm-hmm. I read your book. In one of your book, I saw my grandfather's picture. You know, Biri is my grandfather. Because one of the books that's to the Gambia, where right? yes. I celebrate mm-hmm. Gambia and stuff mm-hmm. excellence. So we go at football, by the way. Yes. So I celebrate Biri, and the kid just just seeing his her grandfather. grandfather in, in, you know, in yeah, yeah seeing her grandfather. Yeah, in it. So you know, she was happy. Yeah, stuff like that. But oh. I, I'm still in the business of writing, by okay. the way. Okay. I have a mega book. Now, I I mean my 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 wife is into children's book. Yes. Um and 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 they always complain about the fact that the culture of reading is mm-hmm. what's lacking because the knowledge that can be impacted on oneself mm-hmm. when they read mm-hmm. it's 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 indescribable. It's a solution. So, how do we encourage because I feel like if we are the way we feel like the, the way we we say gamin's a dormant in so many ways, Nessu doesn't really come from not knowing. I feel it's just not the, the not the notion that there's power in words. Yes. We 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 love to talk. Yes. But there's there, there's a lot of vague yes. words that yes. are being spilled spewed out there. Yes. So what what do you what, what can be done in order for people to pick up books? Because eventually, uh, then if you do, then there's knowledge, <laughs> and once you get that knowledge, then you know that there's so many things that could come your way <laughs> that is not coming your way because of the lack of knowledge that you have. Yeah, you know, you know, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you're speaking, I'm actually yes. listening to you. Believe yes. it or not, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, that's what I do when I, whether it's a chat on a radio yes, or yes. some of these young people that I'm supposed to be teaching, mm-hmm. I'm learning from them. Yes, I, I get a lot of ins. You know, you said your wife is into the business of yes, she, books they don't, they don't, they do children books. Really, yes. I think that's the solution. If we can just push a little bit more, I don't see Danny sitting down three hours reading a book. I'm not bad, baby boy. And I'm gonna take a free radio. I'm gonna take theater. Be take the enemy. You know, but but, uh, but but they could they could be given news because what I'm saying is yes. Uh, you know, there's this local proverb. You know, a the branch of a tree. Mm-hmm. If you want it to be st- straight, if you want a tree to be straight, 
try do it when it's in its uh, infancy. Okay. One, it there should be a punk old boy, a branches he gain a so we tally the fab dama. You understand? Mm-hmm. So the solution, I think, because like, this is a serious national crisis. Issue. I'm yeah. telling yeah. you, yeah. I, 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 I have an idea about the importance of reading. True. So man, for now, if we can, uh, we are creatures of habit, human mm-hmm. beings. If we can encourage these young people to read, like you said, what your wife is into, mm-hmm. get our local stories in a very not only educative but a bit entertaining way also. Okay. Get these young kids in the habit of reading. That's the only solution. Bako nyun dunjay read. Get it. I am telling you, even our policy makers, nyun minaka policy makers, we don't read. And it's a serious problem. I'm telling you. Wow. It's a serious problem. Then I said an official gov- government document. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do a poll read the national development blueprint that we are all talking about yes I'm telling you if you have 100 you are lucky if you have 100 people who read it then one of the professors at the university must have made it compulsory reading move that's the exam at the university other than that no I'm telling you it's a serious issue okay there is I mean you the the, the Sabali Academy yeah that you have going on but 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 just deviating a little bit from that mm-hmm. you went through a lot yes um as an individual and anyone that could have been in your situation mm-hmm. will have left gambia yeah like frankly speaking that they will have left they yeah. probably would have gone with the entire family yeah. somewhere else but no mm-hmm. you did not do that yeah. what was the reason no i i love this country I mean, uh, I've lived all my life here. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I was one of the few privileged young people to have done their university education here. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of our intellectuals before our generation, because not not a fault of theirs, mm-hmm. but the country didn't provide the avenue for them. They left to study. Some of them stayed. Some of them came. But once they came, they could not settle. They went back. Mm-hmm. And I got the privilege of studying here. And uh, God blessed me to have exposure at a very early age. Mm-hmm. I was in the business of governance. Could you believe? 22 years ago, young as I am, I was in charge of all the youth and sports activities in Western Division, West Coast, between 97 and 99. I was representing the commissioner then, a uh, fantastic human being, uh, former <laughs> inspector general of police, Pasala, Pasala Jain. Press <laughs> Jain, they called him, like okay. one of my greatest mentors. You mm-hmm. know, uh, really uh, got that early mentorship. I mean, uh, when I was budget director, when I went to ECOWAS forums, they see me. He's not like, hey, this you know, young man. They laugh at me, they a know, small they boy, know. you yeah. know. <laughs> and then I became SG. And the other issue is like, all mm-hmm. my education is paid for by government. First degree, second degree, you know. And I uh, I studied in America for my master's. Okay. During that period, I dug deep into the, the, founding, the founding philosophy of America. Mm-hmm. It's about sacrifice for the bigger picture that no country is built by foreigners. You know, uh, if you look at the lives of the founding fathers, for instance, of America, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, uh, my favorite one, uh, the Big Ben, Benjamin Franklin. Mm-hmm. You look at their lives, at how much they've suffered for their country. And uh, that's one part. So, I mean, I, for me, so, 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 your know, me- so, 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 so I feel like, so your message at this point is yeah. um, that Regardless of the hardship that we go through, mm-hmm. living is not is not it's meant not to be an option. option. No matter how unkind the circumstances are, never leave your founding your, your father's home behind. Your, your, your motherland. I think it's I quoted it in one of my books mm-hmm. actually. I think it's uh, was by Henry David Thoreau, one of the philosophers of uh, of, of America. So mm-hmm. so the point is, Mandema uh, Gisne, Gambians, we have a situation where Ken Buguta Sona. So you just scratch your neck. Hey, when I come here, if you never meet him, and also, hey, c- could that be the reason why we have we we have a, a large percentage of young people that are going on this irregular migration route at this point? Now, Abu Boisi is more complicated, now. Okay. Because man, Boisi, I'm with them. I support them 100 percent. If you gain, you have the right to go. My mm-hmm. advice then, mm-hmm. when it was difficult to talk, because I remember for one day, those should not go. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, Lulu do wah, linga wah guy, my travel safe. And mm-hmm. I have a video to that effect published in 2015. Mm-hmm. Go, but go safe. So, Boise Sen case is a bit uh, more complicated than you should imagine. Bo- Boise, the, uh, uh, they can be more failed, Boise. The country has failed the young people. And that's why when these same young people are fooled by politicians mm-hmm. who quote, 
JFK out of context for them that ask not what your country can do for you but what, what you can, can do, do for you your you country. Have to, you know, <laughs> what can you do for your country? Let the country provide the institutions True. to train these young people, motivate them, inspire them, teach them patriotism. Then we can ask them what to do for the country. So boys is and case is completely I'm mm-hmm. with them 100%. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm not doing politics even though I like it, but I'm against and, the, uh, I'm against the deportations mm-hmm, 100%. Mm-hmm, and I'll okay. do and say everything I can do mm-hmm. to make sure the deportations are at the very least halted you by okay. boy and free pass and go for balanyo and I'm mm-hmm. making an appeal, you know, out okay. of politics. Wow. Just I mean, I'm with the boys. Period. Okay. So boys okay. and case is different. Why you kotoi? Mm-hmm. Cuz I believe no matter what I'm saying kotoi, I'm saying. I'm saying. No, no, I'm going to cover we like why. Yeah, you you <laughs> you're getting close to that. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Yun Kotoi, the point is, man, there was a game that was being played here. Luaji Finekon, Bogotan, any strong man around. So even if he's part of the forces that built you, at some point he mm-hmm. wants you away. Mm-hmm. So intimidation here and there, Chaslafi, what are you, Def Rumonga, Daugena, you know, so the place became a little bit easier for him to manipulate. True. Man, I didn't want to get into that because I knew this day would come. This day would come and this country would need our sons and daughters regardless of the past regardless of the circumstances to stay and build this country and i thank god that i stayed i learned the institutions of governance i know the mechanisms i know the tricks i know the dirty deals mm-hmm. those who okay. are parading themselves as saints today when we know the skeletons in there i know everything by the grace of allah and i'm staying here to contribute to build this country nobody can stop it it doesn't even have to be with me getting inside the government or not man man I am the Gambia. I'm not going anywhere. Hey. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. You are I must confess someone as very history oriented especially for some of the things that have happened in Gambia and I feel this I feel sad that there's so many there's so many of the stories of Gambia or from Gambia or about Gambia that are going to die because we don't have this dated up. There's no there's no way that we can go and listen to gambian folk old stories and whatnot right. and, and a lot of our young people are going and, and and social media is taking a toll and it's doing its due but is there a way that this can be preserved i mean for example your name sable because one day i said you know I, I was there when you were explaining you know the history behind the name sable and you know where it's from and that sort of thing um but 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 to you, how how important is that, and what are you doing to preserve thing? You know, the, the, your history. Yeah, it, it's really actually mm-hmm. very interesting. You know, you know, it's interesting. I I, I uh, my educational background is uh, multifaceted. Okay. I did practically everything: science, math, you know, art, and you know, all these things. Mm-hmm. But I never studied history, unfortunately. Really, I never did. Oh. But I really. Is it because? You did not want to, or you thought well, like you you, you you already knew what no, you no, what no, you no, what, no, you, no, what no, you were no, be, no, what you no, were going no, to be no, thought in school. Rasa in terms <laughs> of our history, I, I didn't. I was just more technical. I was always looking for something difficult to do. Okay, you know, in my mind then. So I did technical subjects. I did science. I did a first degree in mathematics. You know, mm-hmm. they get both stuff. You know, mm-hmm. but then uh, when I came of age and started working and uh, doing more reading, and, and I saw that okay, these some of these things that we thought were not important are the making or breaking of all great civilizations. So, and this dovetails into where we stopped about my, the story of my life, mm-hmm. as Broke would say, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. in the Gambia so far. When I was fired as SG Presidential Affairs Minister, mm-hmm. we went to battle in the courts in and out of mile two, and, you know, mm-hmm. and it was all fine, you know, it yeah. all went with ice cream and mm-hmm. attire, even mm-hmm. in mile two, I drink attire, I drank attire by the <laughs> they, they were giving attire. the <laughs> boys at Riman, they'll tell you when they're happy, they say, I'm not going to 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 say, i deliberately went out of my way to promote Gambian art, talent, and culture. So I send these young people to do, do me uh, historical stories for a magazine mm-hmm. and a, a chance upon the history of Kadi Kebe. It was a folk tale that was played over radio years before you and I were born. Yeah. That a certain woman was very beautiful, talk of the town, you know, so you know, I'm for um, them for, uh, you know, gala, tabula, lenkodan, oye, in bandinka bag, and she was poisoned and died. One of my journalists when they said that is not true that woman actually died of child labor i said bang we did the story on observer i said grts go and call the family mm-hmm. one of these 
Fana uh, Domi Magamla also was alive. You see, you narrate that story with the Kora background because this was narrated over Kora, our folklore. Mm-hmm. Jaling Alimba is still yes. alive. Mama mm-hmm. de Lolu. Si Lolu right need call. Mona, you know, why don't you do the biography of Jalo, uh, Lalo Keva Drame? Bang! I said, I'm like, Gasama, within two weeks it has to start. We got Jali Alavin by May his soul rest in peace to anchor the biography of Lalo Keva. What we did there, by the grace of Allah, was unprecedented in Gambia's broadcasting history. Thank God everything is recorded. Mm-hmm. So that actually heightened my interest in history and culture. And archiving those. Yes, so mm-hmm. uh, I hired Jali Alavin by to work for GRTS. And it's a fantastic human being who actually has a passion for our culture, for our history. So he was going out of his way to to find us some of these historical stories. And, mm-hmm. you know, he went on until the last act he had at the Gambi radio, uh, GRCS radio mm-hmm. was the history of the Mali Empire. He passed away without uh, concluding it. But I commissioned him on, uh, on another project. Again, mm-hmm. I became curious. And I believe that what I saw was Linyo Utsitubabi Mungfi from culture, mm-hmm. governance, even technology. I am saying it on the record. Even technology, Mungfi. Then Hamut Sun history, we turn our back on our past, we became lost. So we believe that, for most, they believe that uh, Tubabi, Mom, they have everything that we do not. Exactly. Th- that's the unfortunate thing. Like like the story I told you, the commission mm-hmm. I gave Jali yes. mm-hmm. to go to Badibu. It's the region of Badibu uh, called Bijankir. You know, the five uh, city-states. I call them city-states and I insist on it. Mm-hmm. Badibu Yuliyasa is not a village, it's a city-state. Badibu Jajari is not a village, it's a city-state. You know, and uh, Kubandar, uh, mm-hmm. Juman, Jum- Jumansar, they are all city-states. They are not villages with rich history. So Jali Alajimbai went and then and spoke to these uh, old people. And to my surprise, mm-hmm. it's just, just oral history. Jali Alajimbai, may, may his soul rest, he told me he was interviewing some of these old men, 80s, 90s, they were crying. They thought they were going to die with these stories, with nobody capturing them. And in one incident, he told me the guy has a family tree written down, but he said that he has only part of it. Another oh. part of it was uh, owned and stored by his sibling, a woman who is married in Sami Pachonki. So the mission was after that, I would have sent Jali Arajimbai to Sami Pachonki to go and collect that. The, re- the, 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 the remainder Sad. of... Oh, 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 Sad. Of, uh, and this the, is just Badibu Bijankir, mm-hmm. just a, 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 a segment of the North Bank region. If you go to URR, if you go to CRR, Hasum Sise, my good friend, the historian, tells me if you look at the literary history of Gunjur, uh, Jara Sutukung, Jara Barokunda, they have libraries, their literary history is deeper and older than some of these European uh, countries who have had so, universities so, so for just, centuries. Ju- just, just, to, just to ask, why isn't this made public why isn't this made known because there is there's so much that could be benefited from doing this before you know what happened it could be hollywood coming together to do their movies inspired stories from i Gambia. believe so we have that potential why hamga uh really it, it's sad because uh, it's the way we train our young people our educational system needs to be overhauled by the way mr president if you are listening there was a promise please go ahead mm-hmm. you know uh we are, we, are, we are taught to believe that the white man is more civilized, more educated, has a better history mm-hmm. than all. even the history we, we study. It's, uh, not, it's, know, it's, it's not history of Gambia. It's, man, it's, really? it's, mainly, so, it's mainly Malian Empire history. And not Song even Han. that. Soko Jange Samutane. Some of our historians are filled with European history. But recently, like, because we have our own university and others, people are given projects to go and study our own history and document it. You know, so law hamu dokumuna funka boy. What you don't know, you cannot love and appreciate. True. You know, now this is the problem, and I mean, uh, uh, much respect to to our elders, because the power of the media is very powerful. You spoke of Hollywood. True. Boy, because they, 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 they look at, they're looking for stories, they're of searching course. for stories. So if there's one that is captivating from Gambia, they'll be all over here. Screen bo bunga e hall, nga fog ne Peter and Jane nga is hall in a Roman story, mga reprograms a brain we boy. Your brain is a computer. You can reformat. Before you know it, you are behaving like Peter and Jane, like we do on Sunday Beach. Yan nga yala dimbale mo one yu yon yon bu yon bu straight we boy. Eh dina sirat al mustaqim. Now let, 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 let me let me let me let me ask you this question in terms of tourism. 
Yes. How how is that benefiting us as Gambians? Now, because like, like, I feel you you see a lot of things from a different perspective. The, the the scene of tourism like gambia tourism because there was a conversation yesterday that we had about uh the tourism board and the packages that they sell to this for example to, to you know to to thomas cook and all of this uh foreign agencies which eventually is mediocre i could i could say how is that beneficial to us as gambians that all this old white people come over here for a week or two or three and just parambulate around. They don't just parambulate. You know what they do. Uh, well, they, they, <laughs> they sex our boys and make our girls. I didn't you say know, that. <laughs> I said that. I wouldn't use the three-letter word. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my zone. Trust Daniel. me, man. This we, we're getting out this, of the this, this day, now. this day and age, <laughs> you could say whatever, man. Um, but so yes, what, what, what's your? What do you think? If you ask me, mm-hmm. tourism is doing more harm than good on this country. It's actually damaging our cultural fabric, and the envisaged economic benefits are not coming into this country. A lot of the money. Now, tourism is seen as one of the biggest foreign exchange earners in this country. Mm-hmm. It's true, but at the same time, it's false. A lot Why of these that? packages, guide and code fee in the tourism operators fee, mom hotel you. A lot of their money is paid in their foreign bank accounts. How is it today? No visa. Are you surprised that normally, normally, tourist season dollars be therefore appreciate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why off late? Then I guess the season because dollars bank get depreciate. Why? And how is me? And they come here. You know, it's actually getting worse, huh? Mm-hmm. We have a bumper season, but so large a boy see. And I'm not making this up. I'm not true, here to true. side for anybody. I'm just speaking my truth. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we'll listen as uh, conscientious people yeah, yeah, and yeah. see how we can correct our errata. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you talk to these people, <laughs> true, taxi drivers, mm-hmm. you know, the restaurant workers, they're telling you, boy, Afel Sibahu, this time around. But there's so many of I'm, them I'm, I'm telling you, because there's this problem of this all-inclusive, and I don't want to get into the technicalities. Mm-hmm. Is it too bad? I'm going to say, you see, hotel be regular more M. For full of more leke, for full of more nane, everything. So, so you may have this, you can go to the school, you can go to the school, you can go to the school, you can go to school fees. True. Now, this is a problem, because look, look, look I'm an economist by profession, mm-hmm. by the way. I, I mean, well, yes. You bring mm-hmm. in Harvard bumper tourist season. Guy, you know, hotel, you know, 10 million la, am 10 million be in England, you know, good fee, by the way. Tax visa, I'm sure, and fair is not correct. So even the government is not getting their own fair share of of, of the of the bumper tourist season. And then you calculate low yep at the end of year, and you know gross domestic product GDP grew by eight percent. Naturally, everybody's lifestyle should be should be, should should be improve, better, should but improve, it's not because all that eight percent yep nyungko la has been hotel. Ninety percent of Gambians have never set foot in a hotel. I'm telling you. True. Apart from shooting and there, definitely do gasi hall direct gain. How many sahrumi na kalen mel. So we need to revisit this. Tourism is destroying our culture, man. Makowa. Tourism is de- de- destroying our health because we see all these old tubab men. It used to be the boys following tourists. Now man, janghai rekla degis. Bena janghai nyari tubab you maget. You know, abusing our 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 young people here. You know, if you buy a jangoro, we know people who are dying because of their activities in the. Mm-hmm. That was a, a tubab who was uh, arrested and detained when I was a detainee at the NIA in just before the impasse. He was an AIDS victim. The fanyo fi nyu dahako because he was an AIDS victim and he was having relationship with our girls unprotected. He was expelled from the country mu nyu wat guy arrest ko detain ko. After all of that ko ku gisar na ko nyu wat na na back into this country. We need to be careful. You know, I think we need to have a serious national conversation on tourism to see how can we can maximize the benefits and reduce the demerits of tourism. Tourism can destroy this country. Build life or light alive. It has the potential to mm-hmm. bring us a lot of good. True. Don't get me wrong. It mm-hmm. has the potential. Why should you buy it as it is right? You buy it just in the hands of these business people. And you regulate for full and death. Instead of regulating the big boys who are provoking havoc, they kick our boys away from the tourism development area. Then I want picnics and you love a bunch time for you. Then I want a fair for I don't know what. Boy, let's chill. No, boy. no, no, this no. Is, no. This is chill zone. Let's chill. <laughs> we get to chill right here. Mr. Savali is with us. Uh, but just, just, just a little bit uh, into um, some of the work that you do. 
in in terms of um, basically just just the business part of what you do, uh, you 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 managing a magazine, if I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, how how is that going? Well, uh, what happened? Okay, G Life basically. G Life yeah, magazine. Yeah, G Life magazine. Uh, yeah. G Life magazine came actually as an offshoot of uh, Observer Light. Oh. You remember we had this uh, glossy yes, yes. colored magazine when mm-hmm. I was at Observer. Yeah, and I, yeah. I just have a passion for for these things. I just mm-hmm. see it as an evocation of my passion. Uh, when I left Observer, the guy who was printing for us, I don't want to mention his name. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we came into a partnership because he really loved what we were doing, and he had a state of the art. Printing press, so we created G Life magazine. Man, it, it went so popular, bam! Mm-hmm. Of course, with support from Africel, you know, true, really, true, really true. fantastic uh, uh, enterprise. But mm-hmm. the, the partner uh, uh, decided to do one or two things that I was not happy. I'm a buddy bunker. Okay. If you chop my money on <laughs> Ferrari, I'll fight with you. <laughs> <laughs> you love, you love, you love yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we, we yes. Bunkers, we, uh-huh. Only Sarah Hulis are worse than us when it comes to the love of money. I'm telling you. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> so yes. So so uh, at this point, is it still? Is it currently? No, no. We G Life uh, mm-hmm. exists online as, okay. a, as a blog, mm-hmm. but the paper part I just killed it and created right. uh, Glow Magazine. Okay. Which is actually. Practically supposed to be G Live Online. Oh, get the hell out! The yes, that printing. Yes. Get it away. I was okay. just trying to teach the guy a lesson. Actually, mm-hmm. create an online magazine. We actually done a few printouts. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, some here with support from Africa, of course. Okay, uh, but I've, I've suspended it a bit and uh, concentrated a little bit on the personal consulting bit because it did bring a, a bit of attention to to my work in terms of corporate consulting. So mm-hmm. we're doing that. Uh, quietly but um i just love media okay. i mean i mean that's no that's <laughs> I, no limit I, to i can the, i can see that i that's definitely no can to see the that. potential mm-hmm. of media to to create good even though it doesn't always create good it has a potential to have its uh, demerits as well so now for social media mm-hmm. um in terms of your love for media equally mm-hmm. um and I, I, i know how, how how influential are you on social media because i mean people Shit. are these days people are rated by the amount of followers that they I have am, the amount of likes that they can <laughs> give a, a, a brand or a company that's how you make your money these days but so as momulu sabali how how is your social media life <laughs> Uh, I think I have a very, very expansive uh, mm-hmm. uh, level of operation on social media because I'm on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I manage at least five platforms on Facebook. Okay, I, but what's your I, personal? What's your pers? If someone wanted to reach you through Facebook, what was what's your handle? Momuru Savali. Okay, Momuru Savali. There are two. Yes. Momuru Savali for uh, my public figure page and mm-hmm. Momuru Savali my personal profile. Okay. Maybe I should change that a little bit so that they can be different. But my right. pas- I'm more active on my personal profile. Okay. Okay. okay I, so I, guys, I, you can reach him out on his personal profile mm-hmm. account on Facebook. Momuru Savali. But right. I have Savali Leadership Academy also as a group that has about a thousand members where okay. I just do mentoring, strictly mentoring, good, inspiration, good, motivation. Good. 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 And uh, SLA Choir has now I created a platform for them. But I'm I'm on LinkedIn. In, I'm All on right. Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm, nice. I'm even on Google Plus, boy. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> you're you're literally you're literally everywhere. So that's why I tell them uh, you should never try a PR or against Momodu Sabali <laughs> because inshallah you never win. <laughs> P- pull a PR stunt on you. Yeah, uh, but I love social yes. media okay. and I see a, a huge potential for good. Okay. Because man, I can be very difficult to reach on the phone. I don't like voice voice conversations. I'm very active on WhatsApp, by the way. Mm-hmm. But I'm more about text. Cause so my text stack yo do more prevent from my other things. True. I can be doing some work and texting you like here. I can be texting some by voice calls. The pagel time and these phones too much on your this. True, you know, true, true. Me. <laughs> your you nerves know, and all Social media. Yes. I use it to inform, educate, and inspire. And it's a platform where young people who want mentorship and. You'll be surprised at what young people approach me for. <laughs> so yesterday, I was talking to one person about something. I had a conversation with somebody in America. I'm like, mm-hmm. boy, hold on. I have to talk to this guy. He's my youth. My parents will all react. My dem some messenger. Somebody inboxes me. I'm taka, you know. And some of those people put Amma on the phone. It can be difficult. But they send me these messages. And really, I like when young people call me, whether it's an individual, mm-hmm. a group, uh, I always want to respond. And there is only one criteria. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be my friend or anything. Mm-hmm. Silinga deaf if it is good, positive. Okay. For the progress of young people or the country, Bokana. 
So you have a book, um, and more to about it. Regardless but of who you are. Before we get ahead, yes. before we t- before we take a leave as well, um, what 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 what's what's gonna be your message for? Uh, your, 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 your takeaway message for those that are watching, for those that will be watching, for those that are listening to us at this point. Do you have a minute for me to complete on my social media? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. In sure, the interest sure, of sure, uh, sure, conclusion. Sure, 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 sure. I do create uh, some controversy on social media also. Okay. Because my name is in a Gambian, I'm going to go to the Everybody will keep quiet about it. Sure. Some of those issues, some feeling it has a potential impact on the nation or, or young people. The man you one Whether you like it or not, I do that also. And right now, one of that is on right now. Okay. So, Lulu mom, I have a friend who tell me, what, 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 what do you have going on right now? I, I'm you sure you want that on the <laughs> platform. You know. if, if, no, it's about the Gambia Press Union. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. You want okay. That um, because I think there was a video yeah. where the yeah, the Gambia Press Union president yes. insulted, mm. verbally attacked and harassed a journalist. Guy buga no pisi lulu. Man, then you have to talk. So we created a hashtag, GPU speak up, because sufing moroti journalists regen attack saga them court. You know, take a whole country to court. Mm-hmm. Ne policeman more door journalists or security man more 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 ton journalists. So you onga talk finger ne yo yo sab bopa the president. Nga all of you ne kuwara defar so ya he munyao. Yo you are supposed to protect journalists. You attacking a journalist for mm-hmm. political reasons. So I, I took that up and uh, it's very hot right now. So that's why I'm very happy to be in the chill zone. But that's that, 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 that. <laughs> down the temperature. And, you know, I, but that's that's good. That's good. Chill. That's I, good. I love to chill, man. That's in spite good. of it all. That, that, so, that's uh, that's really. Only get my towel safari and I'm them jealous of my ice cream now as I talk them to be quick. Why from you want to dig a seat? Dig a dig a. I mean, it can be painful sometimes. Dig a nail hut. True. Why you also rule if you want to dig a? I can do a dig a. Do you am? If the whole country keeps quiet, no more do I do one of I will never do it. But it's nothing personal. We are at a critical juncture in this country. We need. We want to rebuild our governance institutions and processes. Bring mm-hmm. communal taxi fen. Do you dig? You know, Asan Jalo, uh, Chief Justice, have a lot of respect for him. Mm-hmm. He said Gambia has a fantastic opportunity right now. It doesn't happen very often that a country has the opportunity to rewrite her laws, transform her institutions of governance. Nen ko def defin bo hamne. It's bigger than any individual or institution. True. Gambia first. Lolo gende wa social media. Yeah. Gambia first. Wow. Domi reumi. Diga. School. It's beautiful. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for joining us right here on the Chosen. It's it's been uh, fascinating, and I feel like if every young person in this country had the guts to speak their mind the way you do, it definitely would be a, a beautiful place, a better place for us to uh, to live. And because there's so many things that we're going through at this point that. I don't feel people. I I think people just don't want to say anything because yeah. eventually no one you wants to hurt. To, a, you exactly. don't want to hurt the feeling exactly. of your uncle or your, your aunt and that sort of thing or because your girlfriend's friend. That's what I'm saying. Friends. So or probably your uncle is a, you know is the mayor and you don't want to say anything yes. because you don't want to. Ah, Murphy, keep on. Murphy, Murphy, buddy, so so, really. so it, it's, it's it's just bad. But <laughs> uh, honestly, I really want to say thank you so much, each and every of you that are watching can to I also you. Say thank you. Yes, you equally can say thank you. If you want to give a shout out as well to your one and only, you know. On Wednesday, we give women a special. <laughs> like I did a video for my wife today, and I was like, you know, girl, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> well, shout out to my better brain, yes. JT girl, right mm-hmm. now in Sweden, chilling somewhere, really chilling because the temperatures are woo. Love you all the time, mm-hmm. mother of SLA. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to uh, say thank you to AfriCell, AfriCell, not just Afri Radio. Good. For all the support, I call Africell the home of Gambian talent. Or, or for creating platforms upon platforms nice. to expose mm-hmm. and inspire young people to become bigger and better people. I want to say thank you to Africell and uh, your radio for you know keeping the airwaves clean because you don't do profanity and all that no, nonsense. No, of you course know. So, not. So keep it because look, uh, uh, media for mm-hmm. uh, it can it can affect the mood of the nation. And right now, in mm-hmm. in spite of the little fist fight here true, and there, true. we need to chill. We need to chill. Gambia, yes. just chill. The Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We wish you well. And uh, everything, I mean, 2019 is a brand new year. And with no yes, you're going places. Inshallah. Uh, you, have a, you have a nice day, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>